Hi, good morning everybody. Today is April the 9th, 2019. I just want to record this uh, video to invite all of you to the channeling that I'm doing on the 26th of April this year. So, um, so a little bit of introduction of who I am. My name is Winnie. I'm an intuitive life coach. I love working with energy. I love working with my clients and helping them to navigate their uh, life um, and make their life a little easier to digest. And uh, who am I channeling? I'm channeling an entity called Kriya. Kriya is part of the um, Kryon family. Um, Kryon is, is really here to do the, to retune the magnetics of Earth. And Kriya's job is really to take care of the energy grids that's around the Earth. And because the, um, the, the, the original grid and the Christ, con or the, um, Christ consciousness grid is going to be really coming back and be reactivated in a major way. So that's why Kriya um, um, one evening just showed up in my bedroom. And what I can see is that there's an energy orb and um, there's this bed. And, and the energy orb is by the other side of the, uh, the, the far side of the bed. And um, when I walk into the room, I kind of get a message from my higher self that there's somebody here to see you. So I looked around my room and I just can just see by the, the far side end of my bed, there is this energy signature, kind of like a shimmering. I can just see it. There is no, um, no kind of facial features. Uh, it's just an energy orb, and I was just you know squinting, looking at it, and really noticing that yeah, there is something there, and was saying to myself, "Cool, so now what?" So what I usually do when I receive message is I would be just lie down and just get into a meditative state, and the messages would start to come. So that's what I did. I just you know, I was going to go to bed anyway, so. I just get myself prepared for bed, um, switched off the lights, and then just get into a meditative state. And that's when um, this entity started to talk to me and just showed me lots of love. And, and I really feel a very loving and I would, I would say gentle um, energy. And so the entity, Kriya, asked me to put permission that I channel um, this entity and so I the first thing I asked was so um, give me a name because I can't just tell people I'm just channeling an entity and what's the name and so so, this, so then I can actually see the alphabets being um, spelled out K-R-I-A and that's the, um, the alphabets of the entity called Kriya. And so after I've felt uh, all the sensation and heard the message for you know, asking for permission that I channel, um, I just my so internally like I wasn't sure. So is this um, is this entity? What's the what's the all the intention behind it? I didn't get quite what it is yet. And so I just say okay, I'll think about it. And then so the 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 following nights, like a few nights after that, like all the uh, my other um, my my spirit guides, my um, you know, all the guy different guides, kind of come like one each night to tell me, well, you know, you should help this, uh, you should really do this channeling, and so <laughs> so like I left for a couple of days, and all of a sudden one day I just you know, one evening I just sat down and just check within. Is that, do I really resonate with doing this? And there was really a, um, a congruence that I can feel, yes, I want to do this. So I just said yes. And so it has been quite a journey. Um, this, this entity came to me actually in around maybe October, November of 2017. And I did start to do a channeling uh, in early 2018. But what happened was I was so confronted by the idea that I'm channeling someone. 
and um, all my my programs kicked in. Who do you think you are to channel? And um, so how do you know you're doing it right? And like it has to be perfect. You need to do this right. And so if you're not right, then you know that's my program is I have to be perfect. So so then I. So much so that the weekend before um, the channeling off uh, that I scheduled in 2018, I couldn't even get out of bed. I was like, I have to lie down in bed all day. I can't get up at all. And it took me like a full 24 hours to actually get up right again. And then I did do the channeling and it, everything went okay. And um, I did the best I could. However, after that, I was like, okay, no more channeling. I need to handle my own um, um, my programs and really get at it because I don't want to be channeling with all these things showing up. It's a little bit um, it's debilitating. So it took me all of 2018 and the first part of 2019 until I get really ready to do this channel again so then that's when i uh, actually everything lined up i i asked and somebody suggested a, a space it's um it's at 663 greenwood avenue in toronto and the date is on april the 26th of 2019 and this um this space is called yuri's place and at the 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 um, and the ground floor is really uh, luke sculpture studio so it's uh, the whole building itself is really a very creative space luke is yuri's husband and he does wonderful sculpture and he holds classes there so it's a very creative space and yuri herself is a naturopathic doctor and when i actually went up there and, and uh, met with yuri i just love this energy it, it just feels like um, this is the right space so it's not a very big space and it holds maybe about 18 to 20 people and so i'm inviting all of you um to come if you are in the toronto area and you are available on um, april the 26th channel time is begins um seven in the evening and ends at about nine o'clock i don't really see myself channeling for two hours so um it's probably going to be just at most one hour. The other time is just for us to um, just mingle, chat, and um, just have fun and enjoy each other uh, on a Friday evening. So if you can make it, then please do come and also let me know because it's not a very big space. So I don't want to uh, have 50 people show up in standing room only. That won't be nice. So hopefully there will just be, um, I have no idea by the way, what's going to come through. I do know that because um, May is a very powerful month, and especially around May 5th time. Like usually every month, for example, April 4th or March 3rd, the, the, the double, the, the three threes, four fours, and the five fives are um, kind of energy gateways for, for things to, to, energy to really be wrapped up. So May 5th, a uh, very powerful day. And um, so what I, I could tune in is that there's going to be a change in the consciousness um, it, on Earth itself. So that's, so I'm really excited that, that I'm doing the channeling on the April the 26th. So maybe something that will help us to adjust to the new consciousness that is really coming through in the May time stream may show up or may not. I don't know what Kriya has um, has installed. I'm just the the vessel. I'm just the channel, and uh, I will do my best to um, really um, get out of the way for for Kriya to bring this beautiful, loving um, energy to all of you. And I really um, want to invite those of you that really feel that they wanted to be and needed to be at this event to contact me, let me know that um, you're available so I can at least have some idea um, who's showing up and who's not. So I will um, put the, the link to the, the website page that has all of this information that you can uh, RSVP to me and have a wonderful day.
Thank you for all your time listening to this and also um, tuning into the energy of this event. Thank you. Bye-bye.